So what really excited me about New Zealand and the Edmund Hillary Fellowship um, is the collection of talent that's coming together. EHF is a huge opportunity for us to connect with other social entrepreneurs, other investors and people who are really pushing the boundaries which will allow us to gain on um, our collective knowledge. So the Edmund Hillary uh, Fellowship um, is clearly a good core of a, a whole bunch of people that have the right intent for what they want to do. I think the power of when a lot of these like-minded people can come together is going to do nothing but good things for the country. One of the key things in terms of access is the people. Like, you know, hei tangata, hei tangata, hei tangata. The heart and the soul of the people who are here, you know, who bring to the table not only technical skill sets, but the heart and the love for the world. We're only a few days in, but there's already this really um, cohesive feel and this shared energy and intention around having a positive impact. It's important that New Zealand is seen as being a niche leader in the globe. We can export um, uh, ideas and, and kind of help bring value to New Zealand. The types of people here I think ha have been incredible. So many come from my world, um, technology, Silicon Valley, um, but I think it's been, it's been very refreshing to meet a lot of people that come from, uh, I would say, different walks of life and in the future of solving problems is really breaking down barriers between thought groups. As people get to meet um, the individuals that uh, come through in the fellowship, they'll just be blown away. And uh, what it means for New Zealand is that we uh, can kind of live this dream that many of us have that we can be a place that can impact on the world. When, when the fellows are coming to New Zealand, they're bringing their entrepreneurial and innovative nature and then they're also bringing a strong desire to learn from our Māori people and to learn from our community. I've been kind of moving towards attending for a couple of years and I'm so glad to get here now. With Māori business, I guess and with Māori in general, we talk a lot about intergenerational thinking. The people who are here today, I just think, oh, I wish everyone I knew could hear. They're thinking about um, decisions that are much bigger than them and, and, and an effect that will be much bigger than them and they do so um, selflessly. We talk about global problems but we're not really using the narrative of social entrepreneurship as something separate. Um, it's more about systems thinking, it's about global problem solving, so seeing the big picture. I want to be a part of this. I see this movement happening and I want to contribute my resources, my thoughts, my ideas into this exciting ecosystem where it really can take place locally but also on this global stage. And I think New Zealand is perfectly situated to balance this global and local dynamic. I think for people in New Zealand or even outside of New Zealand looking for amazing investment opportunities, finding a way to connect in with this um, operation, these people and this group, there's this talent pool here which is growing um, and is well connected. It's really smart. It would be stupid not to use it.